wife wants a second cup of coffee, I'm, I'm going to make her probably a default one because it works quite well. Um, actually, I might try with Cremina. Um, yeah, I'll try Cremina just for a change. Um, and the drop box is looking a bit, I mean, the, this is looking a bit grotty and full. So, we go up to here, I can put on the, that, and I think I'll give her Ethiopian, I think I gave her last time, so let's go back to the Ethiopian, give the Ethiopian, um, 18 grams, okay, and that's his weight, so he waits a little while, the red circle's growing as the machine heats up. It's heating up the porter filter too. There's a scale underneath there. I press and hold it, and it pairs with the. There we go. So it's now paired with the, with the decent. So when I tap the, over here, you see this. You see the scale. Showing the weights over there. That's almost heated up. Going up there. And at that point, when it says when weight says ready. And uh, then I'll take out the porter filter, it'll be nice and warm, and I will grind some grains. In the meantime, let me get some milk from the fridge. Of course, this one, Oatly Barista, very good, very good milk. Prefer it to every other I've tried. My wife doesn't have very much milk, so she'll have about one quarter milk and about three quarters water um, I don't weigh it because I did by eye it's just easier and that says ready so now we can take this out I'm gonna get my cloth and just give it a bit of a dry okay and then nice I'm gonna use my little device on top of there for magnetic uh, ring thing and um, And then I've got a, one of these things on top of here, so when it's give it a couple of presses, sorry for the wobbly camera, that's all out. Then I go through phase two. I've got acupuncture needles on a Fibre WDT, and I go quite deep, initially quite deep, just to make sure there's no clumping. But the special eater is fantastic. You don't really, I mean, it's all, there's so little clumping anyway. It's just really, really awesome for that. I love the specialty to grinder. Uh, give it a couple of taps. Put this on gently. Give it a little twirl. That's done with that. And I grab the tamper. I don't have the decent tamper. It's too expensive. I push it down. Give it a twirl. I know some people don't like to twirl. And stick it inside there. Ready to go. I need a, a cup. Let me clean up my wife's cup from the previous cup. My wife's previous cup today. Okay, that's ready to go. Stick it underneath there. And now you'll see that even though the scale says 315 grams, as soon as I push start, and I've chosen a default profile, I might actually, yeah, I'll, I'll stick to the default one, because I'm on, I did uh, 0 0.5 on my specialita, if I use the Cremina, that's not going to be fine enough, so I'll stay with the default. Alright, so now we're starting. And the graph immediately pops up. And you can toggle between the zoomed in version and the zoomed out version. But we'll see the water's coming through now. The pressure's still quite low, but then the pressure builds up as the, as the space in the chamber gets filled up with water. The pressure goes up. And the shot progress over there. And uh, one of the things I love about the decent is the ability to do that. You can see your shot on, in a mirror. That's uh, the 
over there. So it says it's done. So I grab this the milk, stick it in there, give it a sh give it a go. Um, she doesn't like foam, so I won't give her any foam. And I also get a graph of the, uh, the progress of the foam making there. I don't really need that. I don't know why that's there, but it's there. I guess some people might like that. I don't like that. Um, and um, nearly done. Yep, that sounds right. I go by the sound generally. Um, you can see over here that that will disappear because that's done. It doesn't auto purge. You see that lovely little auto purge it did there. And then it goes back to the graph of the, the default profile that I had over here, uh, which is uh, basically like a sort of lever based machine. Uh, and I take out this. I don't do latte art because it's kind of a waste of time. Uh, there we go, that's art. See, it's beautiful art. Uh, grab a teaspoon. And there we go. Give it a slip. Um, yep, not bad. That's pretty much it. I just got to go like this. Give it a bit of a chuck out there. Bang on there. And what I usually do, I clean it up, rinse it here. <clears throat> and then I go off to the, the, the decent and I give it a purge because then there's, I'm cleaning the, the shower head as well at the same time as you know, that and, if, and it's making it warm again if I need it for the next shot. If I don't need it for the next shot I can um, just switch it off now but what I like to do is I push this little button here and it gives me the details of this particular shot including the, the beans when I roasted them, how I roasted what grind I'm using for notes, for, for how much your extraction is, all these kinds of, kinds of information. And you upload this to a, visu a site called Visualizer, uh, which is awesome. I'll show you that. It's amazing. And here we are at the w Visualizer website where it lists all the shots I've done recently. Um, I can go into the details. This is the last shot I did, which was my wife's shot that I've just shown you. If I go to view, um, I can also, I can look at the, um, this is the pressure, this is the water, and this is the uh, weight coming out. Um, and what I can also do is compare with the previous de default shot that I did earlier today. Um, actually, they should be very, very similar because I use the same grind. So that difference, you can see in the pressure and in the, uh, the weight and the water flow, etc., are probably due to tamping differences, bean differences, or something like that, um, because the machine is just super accurate. Um, and this, this is a temperature graph, and you can see um, it, it gives you, like as you drag the mouse, it shows you the details, you know, updating as you drag it along. Uh, so it's quite fantastic, and you can share these profiles with other people, um, and so people can actually, um, you know, copy your shots if they want to. And now I can turn it off. Boom. If I, if I don't do anything, it'll go on standby after a little while anyway. And now you've got a clean nozzle, I can give you a good night kiss. Mwah.